testimonials are a powerful marketing and sales tool. They're similar to a referral in that a testimonial is a third party telling a prospect that you're good at the skills you offer, that you provide excellent customer service, and that you can be trusted. That's why it's important to have a minimum of three testimonials on your website, as well as on LinkedIn and any other social media site you use to market your business. In this video, I'll share with you how to get powerful testimonials to help you grow your virtual assistant or virtual expert business. Hi, I am Kathy Guggenauer, business coach and trainer exclusively for virtual experts. I have helped hundreds of women just like you achieve their dreams of working from home as well-paid virtual experts. On this YouTube channel, I'll show you how to create a virtual expert career and gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve. So let's start with a question. How do you prefer to experience testimonials? Do you prefer written testimonials, audio testimonials, or video testimonials? I will tell you that the way people prefer to experience testimonials varies as widely as human beings vary. That's why you want to get testimonials in as many formats as possible. Get some in writing, get some in audio, get some in video. And if you err on the side of getting more in one than another, get the most in video because that's what people prefer these days. What do you want to be sure to include in all testimonials, no matter what the format? Number one is the person's name, preferably their full name. Often I see a first name with a last initial. That drastically reduces the power of the testimonials. I don't know about you, but I always think, why didn't that person allow them to use their full name? It becomes really suspicious to me. So use the full name. Number two, use the person's title. This is good, especially if they have the same title as your ideal clients. Now, before using any testimonials, you wanna get written permission. All you need to do in order to get that permission is to use the person, the permission to use the person's full name and their title and even their website is to ask permission. I prefer to send the person an email with the full testimonial in the exact format I want to use it, including their name, their title, and their website URL. And then I ask, would you please review this and let me know if it's okay to use as is. If you'd like any changes made, just let me know. And guess what usually happens? They say, perfect as is. Now let's move on to how to get a powerfully worded testimonial. Number one, use a questionnaire. People often don't know how to word a testimonial. That's why I like to use a questionnaire to get the wording. You can then use their wording that they've written to answer the question to write the testimonial yourself. Clients like this way of giving a testimonial because all they have to do is answer some questions. It feels much easier than having to word a testimonial. Number two, avoid rewriting testimonials. Use them as the originator wrote them. If you do rewrite the testimonial, be sure to email it to the originator and ask their permission if it's okay to use as you've rewritten it. Number three, if you want a video testimonial or an audio testimonial, the easiest way to do that is to interview the person. Come up with a list of questions you want to ask and offer to send the questions to the person before the interview. Tell them not to worry about writing out their answers. They can be spontaneous during the interview. That makes the person feel more comfortable and takes up less of their time. Number four, use LinkedIn to get the most trustworthy testimonials. It's difficult to fake LinkedIn recommendations. Therefore, they are some of the most respected testimonials. You can ask a connection of yours on LinkedIn to write a LinkedIn recommendation for you within the LinkedIn system. And that makes the process 
very easy. After you get that LinkedIn recommendation, you can copy and paste it on to your website. So now let's switch gears and talk about how to write a good testimonial. And here are three tips. This is for you to use when you write testimonials for other people and for you to help people write their testimonials for you. Number one, write as though you are speaking directly to a prospect. A lot of people write testimonials as if they're speaking to the person they are writing the testimonial about. The most powerful way is to write it as if you're speaking to someone who is thinking about hiring the person you're writing the testimonial for. So for example, if you're writing a testimonial for me, instead of saying, you did a great job, say, Kathy did a great job. And here is exactly what she did. See the difference? And that leads me to tip two on how to write a testimonial. Give a specific measurable benefit of using the service or product. Use numbers, percentages, savings, or profits when possible to lend credibility to the testimonials. Facts show how your company can help others. Numbers are concrete evidence of what you can do. One of the testimonials I had on my VA website read, Kathy has helped my business grow tenfold since I hired her. So notice that it's written as if it's speaking to someone other than to me. And then notice the specificity of the benefit. I loved that testimonial and had it as my top testimonial for years. The third tip, don't hype. Don't say, wow, she's amazing. She's fantastic. It really doesn't help people want to hire you. It just sounds like noise. Like, you know, that guy on Charlie Brown. <laughs> Instead, write a well thought out testimonials that gives specific benefits. So I have a great formula to use to write a powerful testimonial. Here it is. Here's what I had before. And here's what I have as a result of working with this VA. Pretty easy formula, right? Here's an example. I used to spend 10 hours a week filing and doing other administrative work on my own. After working with Donna, I now have those 10 hours to build my business or spend time with my family. Want to write a testimonial about this video? I'd love for you to do that. Just put it in the comments below. And then if you want to find out more about how to build a profitable virtual expert business, click the link below and watch my free webinar. I'd also really love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you never miss one of my videos.